tell them that, you know, I, they careful my ticket. I ain't even going over there. I'm supposed to go to New York, but they don't get a trip. Oh, snap on money. I'm going to holler at you later, man. You, 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 you call me because I got that thing for sale. But uh, what's happening? You, you know, I, I can't even take the ticket because uh, it's to New York, but they over there tripping, you know, on the East Coast and things going. You just, you know, man, I'm on the air. I got the old man. You call. Get, get, get with me there. You got my number, man. You got my number? All right. You, you call me. Alright, anyway, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Dilio. I want to talk to y'all today about zombies, cannibals, and stuff like that. What the hell is going on? I was just talking to my homeboy. He had to run, though. He had to go get my money. But, uh, zombies and cannibals. And they say these folks is getting high off bath salts. Now, hold on. Bath salts. How, who, wh how that go? You was in the tub and you decided to snort the shit? How that, how that work? I just, you know what? I had to go back to my fake cigarette and stuff. Because, you know, I've been trying to quit smoking, but I can't. So, uh, shit out of puff. Don't you hate that when it go out of puff? No more puff in the dam. I'm going to play it off, though. We're going to keep rolling. But, uh, yeah. Apparently, black dudes, they all black, it's three of them that I done read about. One in Connecticut, Maryland, uh, some brother down in Miami, Florida off the freeway acted out and uh, they had to take his ass out and shit. You know, he ate a man's face off and what and really amazes me about that part is a uh, nigga running up and down the street ass naked. He couldn't stop and take that bath salt, take a damn bath, wash his ass first, and put some clothes on. Yeah. Anyway, there was another one, another brother, and and I just read that a, another brother in Maryland had a, a roommate. And he decided to eat him. What? You know, this remind me of a good story. Uh. Good story. It started out with uh, someone wrote in to me and said, Dilio, you look real familiar. Ain't you the nigga that used to tell the fortunes in the Tatella box? That was me. That was That's one of my hustles. You know I be always on my money and stuff. I do a lot of stuff to get money. But yeah, that's one of my hustles in the summertime. I stand up in the box like this here. That's something I do. All right, and um, she was trying to be funny and shit, you know, spread her fortune and shit. I said, "This your fortune? Fuck you! How about that?" Yeah, that was me. That was me. I. I do that from time to time, you know, I, I read fortunes and stuff, you know, but it be hot, you know. Do you know how, how hard it is to stand in the arcade room, in the game room for like 10, 12, 14 hours at a time? It looking like this. So anyway, I'm on the runway one day. It was hot as hell. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I was in the arcade. I was in the arcade room one day, and I was working about... 40 to 50 hours that week, just straight standing up, standing up there looking stupid like. See the picture? It's, you know how hard it is to stand in that motherfucking position all goddamn day and wait on the motherfucker to come play the fortune. That was my job crazy. So anyway, I'm standing up there, and this crazy ass white dude came along, and he was uh, high off something or the other. I couldn't tell what it was. I think it was airplane glue. And uh, he said to me, Delio, I want the real deal. 
who going to be my next victim? And he put the money in the slot. And I was dumbfounded. That was the first time I couldn't do my job, man. I was standing up there for a long time like, He hitting the box, he's shaking and everything, demanding the fortune. I could I couldn't honor that. I just couldn't honor that. And that was over there in Coney Island, in the in the arcade over there. So I think it's something in the water on the East Coast. Some some kind of way, certain folks mix that water and they snort that stuff, whether it be airplane glue, bath sauce, it don't matter lose their damn mind. So anyway, me and the brothers got together. Zolatar, Zanzibar, Swami Homie. That was Swami Homie. That was my nigga. I gotta call that nigga. <laughs> See how he doing this stuff, you know. But Swami nigga was like, did you hear about the niggas that's just appearing in people's room and stuff late at night, uh, taking them out and stuff, you know? I said, what you mean? He was like, the evil niggas that's in the crew, they, they taking niggas out, man. They disappear in your room and shit. And uh, if you ain't got no money for them, they go ahead and, and, and eat your brain. You know? Disappear in a crystal ball type way and, and just, just come in the room and eat your goddamn brain out. I said, what? What part of the game is that? So anyway, me and the brothers got together. Zolatar, Zanzibar, Swami Homie. We decided we was going to watch each other back. You know what I mean? Because uh, we was going to keep fortunes and, and on the lookout in the future who was going to be next. So anyway, I'm laying in the bed asleep one night. And this nigga appeared in my room. Came through the crystal ball and shit, you know, like a dealio. 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 I won't go like, what the? What you doing in my room, man? He was like, Dealio, do you change for ten dollars? I'm trying to take this woman out tonight and I ain't got it. I said, nigga, if you don't get the hell up out of my room, tell me some damn change for some damn ten dollars. You ain't make no money today. He was like, no. Cause there was a scary guy. He came and he wanted to know who the next victim was gonna be. I was like, you too? That same nigga came to my box. What he say to you, man? I said, man, I he asked me the same thing. I never told him nothing because I was, I was stupefied. Like, this nigga is crazy. But, uh, I told that nigga in my room to go away. I was asleep. And I thought about it. I thought about it. It came to me. So I appeared in that nigga room. I said, uh, Zanzibar. 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 I ain't got change for a 10. But, uh. Do you know what the next crazy ass drug gonna be? And he said, Bath sauce. That's right. Bath sauce. Shit is crazy. Y'all better watch out. Because something wrong when it's Memorial Day weekend and you become the damn barbecue. Y'all better watch out. But uh this week got this here for sale. It's a crystal ball. It's used a little bit. You know, this is the one hands about coming to the room on you with, uh, but uh, it's all right. It's, you know, still work. It's good. I'm only going to ask for 700 for this. 700. I'm going to let this go for 700. But, uh, 
Don't fret. Don't trip. Cut the next one down. Now this little mug right here ain't never been used. So it's brand new. Even got the box to go with it. Finally, this little motherfucker right here, this will tell you exactly who the next victim going to be. Now, if you ready for that, you're going to have to give me nine. Other than that, I got this, uh, whatchamajigger. I don't know what the hell it is and what it do, but it's, uh, it's a good-looking instrument. You tell me when you figure what it do and what it is. It's your boy, Delio. I gotta go catch this, uh, this ride, you know what I'm saying? I got to go hang out with my people and stuff, you know. We gotta get ready to go work the runway and stuff. You know, I got some fortune-telling to do. Get, get my box, get my thing together, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm the real deal, you know, I always got that going on for myself, you know what I'm saying? I got all these hustles and stuff I do, so, uh, y'all be good. Don't get your brain ate out. But, uh, if you want to know more about it, my girl Big Shirley got something to say about it. The link is down below. Make sure you check her video out at, uh, Stay away from the damn bath salts. All right.